I'm Debbie from She Sway Lacquer. This is our collection of nail lacquer here, and we're going to do a basic manicure, starting with the file and shaping. We've already trimmed the nails, so we're just gonna do what I like to call a squoval shape, and we're going to take the corners in just a slight round, and then continue making them a nice, even, flat shape. Taking the corners in a little bit into your flat shape makes them a little softer, so they're not completely oval, but they're not a harsh square. So after we've filed and shaped the nails, then we're gonna go through with this little soft buffer. I like to, um, I like it, it's like exfoliating the nail plate, like you exfoliate your skin, you're exfoliating the nail. So it just gets any residue of staining from a dark color that you might have worn and it smooths out any ridges that might be on the nail. So after you buff all the nails, get the ridges out and they're nice and clean, I like to do a spritz of water and then apply cuticle softener. This is, um, this is a basic cuticle softener that you can find at any beauty supply. It's by Blue Cross and apply it to each nail, and then with your cuticle pusher, you're gonna go through and gently push back, and it gets, again, any staining off the nail and any extra skin. So the more you get off this way, the less you cut. Um, when you nip your cuticles, you really don't wanna be cutting too much off. Okay, so after you push back all the cuticle, do a little wipe of the nail plate just to get any residue off, and then we're gonna go through and just any loose skin that came up, we're going to just take right off with our nippers. We don't cut the cuticles off completely. We're just getting any loose bits. Okay, and after you've gone through each nail and cleaned up the cuticle, I like to use just a basic oil blend. This is one I use, my, I make myself. It's a combination of olive oil and almond oil. It's really hydrating to the skin. And rubbing that into your cuticles in the morning, at night, anytime, even when you're cooking in the kitchen, it's a good time to do it. So after you've polished and moisturized your nails, you wanna clean the nail bed. Nail polish does not stick to any oil or residue on the nail. So with our non-acetone, fragrance-free and dye-free polish remover, we're just going to wipe each nail plate. The oils have sunk in there and made the nails nice and clean. And now we're just gonna wipe that nail bed clean. All right, so She Sway Lacquer is free of formaldehyde, toluene, and DBP and the caps are made from sustainably harvested wood, so we're reducing the use of plastic. And we don't use a base coat. I like to um, put the polish directly on the nails, and I believe that less is more. So when we're painting the nails, it's good to prep the brush. So I like to go back and forth against the neck of the bottle to load the brush up properly, keeping one side clean and the other with a dollop of polish. You can apply and push towards the cuticle and just pull out. So really, instead of putting your brush entirely back in the bottle, you can pull the lacquer just from around the neck. See? All right, so we've done two coats of polish, of color, on both hands, and now we are going back in with our top coat. This is the She Sway Top Coat. It's a super quick dry, super shiny top coat and it applies and levels out really nicely. So if there were any little imperfections in your polish job, a nice top coat like this will sort of level it out so you can't really see it. And last but not least, our thumbnail. And then you have a polished to perfection She Sway manicure. Mm, I love it. <laughs> <laughs>